A convoy of tractors, part of a wave of protests in Poland expressing widespread anger that the rural way of life is becoming untenable. A farmer doesn't go on strike to improve his condition or to be richer, but just to go on producing food that people can buy. The target of the agricultural ire, Brussels. They're angry that the EU is letting in millions of tonnes of grain imports from war-torn Ukraine, undercutting prices. Just as controversial, the European Green Deal, which forces farmers across the block to respect strict environmental rules. We don't agree with the rulings of the European Green Deal. EU officials come to us and say, you will not cultivate this land. Piotr Koryki was amongst the farmers who picketed the Polish capital. His family has owned this farm since the end of Soviet rule, but today his grain only sells for half the usual price. In April, Polish farmers ended their months-long blockade of the Ukrainian frontier, with the government offering compensation for the low prices, as well as ensuring that Ukrainian wheat only transits Poland. But the EU's Green Deal remains a sticking point. Poland's farmers have called for a referendum. As we say at the protests, stop the Green Deal. We call for this to be completely removed. Now, we have to wait to see how the European Commission will respond after the European elections. The Polish farm sector receives 4.5 billion euros from the EU's common agricultural policy. That's the fifth biggest recipients in the EU. It's a powerful electoral lobby. Around 40% of voters live in rural areas. That electoral heft lends weight to the rural unions and has influenced the positions of the 52 MEPs Poland will elect to the European Parliament. Poland's ultra-conservative Law and Justice Party back in opposition since the national elections late last year, along with the far-right parties, have already made their opposition to the Green Deal a key element of their campaign. But for Poland's pro-European Third Way grouping, which includes a rural party, there's no alternative to the Green Deal. We need to act, and of course at the moment that action is going to be expensive. But if we look at it in the long term, it costs less than to do nothing. We need this green transition, not only because of the climate, but also to be independent when it comes to where we get our energy supplies. It's very likely that it needs to be made more flexible or changed. We can improve the laws that we have adopted, but we cannot abandon them. Poland's newly elected prime minister, the conservative Donald Tusk, has called for exemptions from the Green Deal for Polish farmers. Despite his reputation as an ally of Brussels, that could yet put him on a collision course with the decision-makers of the European Union.